Hi, today's book is called The Two Doves, a children's book inspired by Pablo Picasso. It's written by Geraldine Elsner and illustrated by Zhao. For how long had it been flying so swiftly? A small dot in the great big sky. Under its feet, as far as it could see, the sea was shining like a mirror that had swallowed everything. When at last, its round and sharp eye caught a glimpse of an island on the horizon. It felt invigorated by a new strength, water, grain. It would soon be able to feed and rest. Instantly, the dove headed to the rocks. But the moment of joy was short-lived. The land was firm, but very dry and so hard, nothing could grow on it. All around there were only dried out fields, rock plants, deserted barns. At the center of the island stood a strange mountain made of unusual objects piled on top of one another. On what planet had it landed? A lifeless planet without grass or water? Covered in garbage which suffocated the ground? Disappointed, the dove resumed its flight. The second island seemed smaller but beautiful, surrounded by multicolored flags flapping in the wind. They led to an immense big top, a circus. The dove flew up to it. The ring was empty. On a chair, there was only a forgotten guitar placed atop a harlequin's costume. But where was the performers? The clown with the red nose, the tightrope walker, the acrobats. Not far from there was a third island, also deserted. Of the towns and villages that once stood there, only ruins remained amidst the darkened trunks of trees. The people from the countryside had flown. Everything had been destroyed. Exhausted, the dove took shelter for the night at the foot of a statue. It was then that it saw, huddled against a stone, a dove with a gray white head lying in the dust. Its chest bore a red stain marked with a long black line. It was barely breathing. White as snow, the traveling dove lay against it to bring it warmth. In the rubble, it found a few scraps of bread that it slipped piece by piece into the hungry beak. It also collected some water drop by drop into a lace parasol. In the early morning, the blue dove raised its head. Its beautiful purple round eyes seemed to say, I'm wounded, but alive. Thanks to you, my friend, thank you. A few days later, under a setting sun, they took to the sky, the one leading the other. Out there, a great arc marked the horizon, and underneath it, a fine green line emerged. Was this a forest? The coast followed the curve of the sea, where it was met by a river. Flying against the current, the dove saw a house surrounded by a big garden. Under an old olive tree was a man painting on an easel with children playing around him. Look, cried Olivia as she caught sight of the two birds. The two friends raised their heads, but at that very moment, the exhausted blue dove fell at their feet. The little girl took her in her arms. It's wounded, said Olivia. We must heal it. I'll take care of it, said one of the boys. No, me, answered the youngest. I'll take care of it, said the oldest of the group. But if, if as if to reconcile them, the white dove flew from one to the other, tracing a small circle above their heads. Nobody move. Hand me my brushes, said Picasso. And Pablo drew and drew, and the children began to calm down and paint beside him. Their drawings were soon hanging on the washing line, but suddenly a great burst of wind shook up the garden, and before the small group had time to react, the paper boots flew out from their makeshift perch. In the crazy wind, they began to roll faster and faster, higher and higher, Delighted, the children gathered around Pablo to watch them go up and down. How far will they go? asked Olivia. They'll go to countries all around the world, answered Pablo dreamily. As the paper birds were about to disappear amidst the clouds, the white dove spread its wings. It was time to leave. There on the other side of the earth, on the other side of time, other children were waiting. With a branch of olive tree in its beak, the timeless wanderer swiftly renewed its endless journey. A small white dot in the great big sky. The blue dove huddled in Olivia's arms. Here it could live in peace. 
This painting is called The Dove of Peace by Pablo Picasso. And this book is a, I mean, we talk about fiction and nonfiction. It's a fiction book about um, the dove that's so important to Pablo Picasso's work. So the author kind of created this story that included Pablo Picasso, the artist, and it made a story about the dove that he often painted about. That was very important for him. And he felt um, doves were a sign or a signal of peace. And um, there was Pablo who had lived through some hard times in his life. And so he had raised pigeons, owned pigeons and raised them. And um, so they were very important in his work. He learned how to uh, draw pigeons when he was a young boy. And so this artist kind of used her imagination, this uh, writer and artist used her imagination to think of a story that would help bring the um, doves alive in a book that you might enjoy. So I hope you like the two doves. Thanks for listening. Bye.